Hi, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. I have not long finished Ian McEwan's uh, First Love, Last Rites. Um, this is Ian McEwan's first published uh, collection of short, short stories. I think it was first published in 1975. This edition it's from 2006. Um, these stories are all fantastic. Usually I find with short story collections there's a few that you like and some that are actually not very good and it feels as al almost as if they're just a bit of filler. Um, not so with this collection. This collection it's it's dark, it's twisted, it's beautifully written, it's... It, it, it's... I don't know, it's... it sends your, your brain into, into free fall almost. Um, the characters are, are so vivid and 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 just the darkness and the the atmosphere and I just I think it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant um, but yeah so when you finish a book like I've just finished this one um, I <laughs> I don't know about you but I think to myself oh my word what am I going to read next? Um, I've got I've got a TBR pile. I've got a TBR list, um, but I always think, well, I've got that book. I could read this book, or I could read this book, uh, and then I'll buy a book from a shop, and I'll think I want to read that one next because it's it's just the best thing since sliced bread. Um, and I end up thinking to myself, oh my god, I've got nothing to read. <laughs> And I know that that is irrational. I know that that is absolutely crazy madness um, because <laughs> I have tons of books. I mean, I will show you the amount of books I have in this one room in my house. It's mad. And you'll think to yourself, Graham, shut up, pick a book and read it. So literally I have one, two, three, four, five shelves, absolutely stacked, full of books, like literally full of books. Some are double stacked and they're on, some are on top of others. And then I have, behind that chair, I have a bookcase full of books. On top I have stacks of books. I have a book trolley with stacks of books. I have piles of books on my desk. I have books on my husband's desk. I have boxes of books under my desk. I have piles of books on the coffee table. <laughs> Guys, it gets worse. I have that unit full of books and then piles of books on top of it. <laughs> I have my Harry Potter collection and some other books. I think there's a few um, Alice uh, books there um, on, on the mantelpiece. And then I have behind that chair there's another bookcase which is double stacked with books. And then this bookcase which is double stacked with books. My Agatha Christie collection is behind all the books on this case. Um, and then on top, I have stacks of books. Uh, this is the, the Penguin um, collection, the little black classics that came out in, I think, 2015 uh, for the, 18, the, 18th, the 80th anniversary of Penguin. Um, and they've since brought out some more, which I've bought. But anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> there is also this bookcase, which is filled with books. My Persephone collection. A lot of my Alice collection. And then there's my cup of tea, my phone, my iPad, and some other books. And then some more books. And <laughs> it's just, it's just books galore. But still, I feel like, oh my word, I have nothing to read. And I, I will finish a book and I will walk around this room and pick books off the shelves and think, no, I don't want to read that. And then I'm like, I've got nothing to read. 
And I want to know if I'm being irrational or if anyone else has these feelings. Um, because I feel like I might be crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's the that's the extent of my um, my bookish mind and my TBR. I mean, literally all these books, <laughs> all these books, everywhere, everywhere around this room, are on my TBR, and it's it's scary. <laughs> It's so scary, um, but yeah, that's 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 that. <laughs> just, just books, books, books everywhere, everywhere books. I am crazy, and you know what? I'm not. I'm not even sure. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I want to know if if I'm being irrational or if anyone else thinks when they finish a book that they've got nothing to read, even though they have, literally thousands of books. <laughs> so yeah, please tell me if I'm being irrational. Um, I wouldn't like to think that I am <laughs> uh, and that I'm, I'm just some crazy person who is like, I have all these books but I've nothing to read. <laughs> um, I can't be. I can't be the only person that feels this way. Um, but Right now, I'm going to try and choose a book to read. Um, it'll probably take me about an hour, and it's already like five past ten. Five past ten. Oh, that clock hasn't been changed. <laughs> it's five past eleven. That clock hasn't been changed since the clocks went forward. How lazy is that? I am. I. I, I, um, I have no answer for that. I have no answer for how lazy I am. It's crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, whatever you're doing, enjoy. Whatever you're reading, enjoy it. Stay fabulous, be yourself, be amazing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.